No small amount of excitement in the corridors as MEPs gathered for the first parliamentary session after May's elections. The selection of the new president, the top item. Before that though, a European tradition. Then to business with four candidates standing. Many of them critical of the way in which the EU's top posts are being filled. We should not simply be presented with a pre-cooked deal to just rubber stamp. Do you vote for the backroom deal? Or do you vote for a Europe of openness, transparency, democracy and hope? El mejor patrimonio de Europa es la voluntad de sus ciudadanos de ser libres y no ser siervos de nadie. Heute sind wir der Quell der demokratischen Legitimation in Europa. Mr. Schultz himself won by a hefty margin in the first ballot. He picked out unemployment, a trade deal with the US and immigration as key priorities for the coming term. Afterwards, though, there was lingering anger at the manner of his selection. It's no surprise people from outside of this very closeted chamber are really going to feel that their voice counts for nothing. There are certain groupings of individuals within this parliament who are just going to do whatever they want. It was a deal between the socialists and the conservatives. A deal like the big deal in, in Germany, the big deal in Greece and the big deal in, in my country. They are dealing, they are a big coalition that, that are imposing terrible, terrible austerity politics in, in our country. Others, however, defended the process as fair and democratic. It was absolutely a majority. That's a normal procedure all over Europe in all the parliaments. That there are proposals from groups and there is at the end a majority. And I think it's a good start. We, we show to the public, to the people, to our voters, that we could guarantee that uh, the European Parliament is ready. We could start with our work. In the coming weeks, there are many more posts to be filled, not least the now vacant head of the Socialist Group, as well as a new batch of European commissioners and council heads. It may be some time before Parliament can crack on with its legislative agenda.